this is Bella Manco from Orlando, Florida, and this is my Spanish tidbit. I got a fun text from my lifelong friend Tino a few weeks ago. It was actually a forwarded message from his daughter Bella, who did the opening to this video. Thanks, Bella. In my Spanish class, they're using Jordan's YouTube videos for notes. He's famous. Obviously, that's so cool. Anytime I see a real teacher sharing my videos, I still can't believe it. But then I realized, wait a second, Bella goes to Lake Brantley High School, the same school that I went to, which means they're showing my Spanish videos at my high school, where I failed Spanish all those years ago. What a world. A huge shout out to Bella, her teacher, her classmates, and every person that's ever shared any of my stuff. Thank you so much. Gracias. The next time I saw Bella, she asked me about the verbs jugar and tocar. They both mean play, she asked with a confused look. I remember that feeling. Bella, here's the answer I wish I gave you that day, instead of the jumbled mess I did give you. The short answer is yes, jugar and tocar can both mean to play. Here's what's going on. In English, we actually use the verb to play in at least two different ways. We play games, as in we participate in games, and we play instruments, as in we physically manipulate instruments with our hands. Well, in Spanish, for playing, as in participating in games, sports games, video games, card games, pretty much any kind of game, even mental games, they usually say jugar. Jimmy plays basketball could be Jimmy juega baloncesto. Jimmy plays football or soccer could be Jimmy juega football, and Jimmy plays baseball could be Jimmy juega baseball. Then Jimmy plays video games could be Jimmy juega videojuegos, and Jimmy plays cards could be Jimmy juega cartas. When we're talking about any kind of game, to play is usually jugar. But then, in Spanish, for playing instruments, as in manipulating them with our hands, they usually say tocar. Jimmy plays the guitar would be Jimmy toca la guitarra. Tocar more literally means to touch. Jimmy touches the window would be Jimmy toca la ventana. So when we say Jimmy plays the guitar, they basically say Jimmy touches the guitar. Jimmy toca la guitarra. That is a little weird at first, but it does make sense. When we play an instrument, we do touch it. We manipulate it with our hands. Jimmy plays the trumpet would be Jimmy toca la trompeta. Jimmy plays the drums would be Jimmy toca la batería. That one always stood out to me. In Spanish, drums are la batería. La batería can also mean battery, like the energy storage battery, but for smaller batteries, I usually see and hear the word pila, la pila. We got off track here. The bottom line is, for games, to play is jugar, and for instruments, to play is tocar. That's the gist of the story. But of course, we're gonna go a little further. I gotta point out, the sentences I just showed you with jugar, Jimmy juega baloncesto, Jimmy juega videojuegos, Jimmy juega cartas. In some regions of the Spanish-speaking world, they'd say it that way. But in other regions, they might say Jimmy juega al baloncesto, Jimmy juega a lo videojuegos and Jimmy juega a las cartas. Same thing, but with the preposition a and an article, el, los, or las. The word al is a contraction of the words a and el. If that's news to you, check out the Spanish quickie I made on the topic. Link is below or in the first comment. And actually, this is rarer, but in some places they say Jimmy juega a baloncesto, Jimmy juega a videojuegos, and Jimmy juega a cartas, with the preposition a, but without the article. Don't let this freak you out though. If you're learning Spanish in a particular location, find out how they say it there and say it that way. If not, just pick a way and go with it, though you should be ready to recognize them all as meaning the same thing. Why the form changes from region to region is more of a grammar issue and beyond the scope of this video. The next thing I want to point out is, in Spanish, game is el juego. So to play a game is jugar un juego. Jimmy plays a game, Jimmy juega un juego. Even though in Spanish, in other situations, they avoid that kind of thing. In Spanish, to ask is preguntar, and the noun question is la pregunta. But when they want to say to ask a question, instead of saying preguntar una pregunta, to ask a question, they usually say hacer una pregunta, more literally, to make a question. Most of the time, Jimmy asks a question would be Jimmy hace una pregunta. That's something I didn't know for the longest time. But with jugar and el juego, they do say jugar un juego, and actually
actually player is El Jugador or La Jugadora, so the player plays a game could be El Jugador or La Jugadora juega un juego. Last thing, the verb sonar means to ring, to sound, to be heard, anything like that. Then the verbs tocar and sonar are both sometimes used for to play when talking about music being played through speakers basically, from a radio station, record player, CD player, digital music player, whatever. Again, this is a regional thing and or maybe a person to person thing, but for me personally, they played my favorite song on the radio would be tocaron mi canción favorita en la radio, but my favorite song was playing on the radio would be mi canción favorita sonaba en la radio, or mi canción favorita estaba sonando en la radio. I guess the difference is, in the first example, the focus is more on the fact that they played my favorite song, as in manipulated the equipment with their hands. That's why I'd use tocar. In the second example though, the focus is more on the sound of my favorite song playing. That's why I'd use sonar. It's basically the same thing, but with a subtle difference. Spanish speakers, let me know please if you agree. And if not, how you'd say those two sentences. They played my favorite song on the radio. My favorite song was playing on the radio. Thank you. And that is all I got for you today. If you only remember use jugar for playing games and tocar for playing instruments, you'll be good about 80% of the time. Of course, as always, for the other 20%, everything I told you in this video is just what I told you in this video. There are other ways to say play in Spanish, and there are other ways to use the verbs jugar, tocar, and sonar. This video was just about the gist of how all those words overlap at the verb to play. If you like this video, you can find every past episode at SpanishDude.com slash tidbits. And if you want to get a notification every time I upload a new Spanish video, the only way to be sure that'll happen is to sign up at SpanishDude.com slash free dash updates. You can't rely on YouTube or Facebook to tell you when I post something. That's SpanishDude.com slash free dash updates. Until the next time, my name is Jordan, and that was a Spanish tidbit.